Come on, you're keeping Jack waiting. This is your day, Jack. You're the pride of your family. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, Phil. Welcome, Jack. It's a great day. Why do I have to be capped? Everyone's capped when they come of age. But why? Don't you want to grow up and leave school to work with your father? Will, you don't think they hurt us, surely? It's just that I don't understand. You will. Now, take this food to the vagrant stone and be careful. Just leave it and come straight back. Hurry up! You want to be there when Jack gets back? I'll be glad to be a man. Oh, me too. No more school. You'll work at the mill with your father. So will you, if you want. You sometimes feel afraid of it. I mean, when you think, 
Think about the day we'll be capped. I knew you were scared. I never said that. Anyway, next year there'll be you and me and the two girls from the Willow Farm. What's there to be scared about? It doesn't scare me. Unless I became a vagrant like them. Capping works with most people. Over near Wilmstone, a vagrant took a boy away. Who said? Mrs. Downs. She said they trap you and murder you. I don't believe that. Mr. Hopkins says all vagrants are mad. Vagrants are stupid. You're not allowed past the stone, so you'd better not try it. Come on, Will. Come on, Will. My name is Ozymandias. I'm king of all this land. Look on me. Children, school is over, but I have something to say I should like you to think about. It is surprising, but no accident, that many of our great celebrations, Capping Day, which we all enjoyed yesterday, and say September's Harvest Festival, 
stand so close together in our calendar. For nature and the tripods are the two essentials for the continuation and well-being of mankind. Nature's bounty clothes and treats us, and by their benevolent presence the tripods have eliminated the evil and greed of war, and all war's death, diseases and despair. Consider the unthinkable barbarity of deliberately killing other human beings, and how it must have been in the dark days before the tripods came. For centuries, aggression dominated man's activities, ruining his every endeavour, and in particular making impossible any true partnership with nature such as we now enjoy in our more enlightened times. Hands up those who are to be capped next year. You will have great understanding. We thank the tripods. We thank the tripods. Where are you going? I'm going to find Jack. Will. Sure. Where are you going to? The tomb. Who else knows about this tomb? Jack. My friend Jack. Where is he? Working. You expecting him here? No. Yesterday was his capping day. You live in the village? Yes. Where in the village? The mill. Well, Parker, is it? How many are you? How do you know? How many? Your mother, father, my cousin. This cousin? Henry. You saw him with me. Let me go! How do you know my name? I'm a vagrant, Will. You know the stories about vagrants? We're madmen, aren't we? We know things other men don't. Yesterday, your cousin called you Will. And the Parker family have been milling corn here for over a hundred years. Please, will you show me the two? I'll be late home. I don't think Will Parker's the sort of boy who'd bother too much about that. I don't usually make mistakes in those I choose. Jack won't ever come here again. Once that cap goes on, out go other things. What other things? Sense of wonder, curiosity, feelings of aggression and rebellion. No. Nobody who has ever been capped by a tripod would find much of interest here. You don't like the idea of being kept, Will. What they did to Jack, it's not right. Has he complained? Oh, nobody ever complains. I mean, look at Anne Digger. She was a girl at school who painted wonderful pictures. Really wonderful. They made me feel... I don't know. Now she's been capped. She never paints. I watched you yesterday at the feast. You were the only one not having a good time. How could you watch me? 
Put that into your eyes. Take a look outside. Men made these, Will Parker. And cities. Cities over the sea. And flying machines to cross the sea. But you'll only say I'm mad. You are mad. Yet I imagine you and Jack must have often wondered what life was like before the tripods. Perhaps. About a hundred years ago, not long, when the tripods first appeared, they destroyed whole cities. Millions of people were killed or starved. And those that were left, the tripods capped. Oh, after a generation or two, matters were very much as they are now. People living quiet lives, free from wars. Well looked after by the tripods. Life is good. We thank the tripods. But you're afraid of being capped. Using your wits. How do you know all this, eh? You're just a stupid vagrant, and, and everybody knows that. Well, the cap's quite genuine. It came from a dead man. That's my passport to vagrancy. Unlimited travel. Searching for boys like you. Uncapped. Not afraid to ask questions. Boys with spirit. And there are more of you than you imagine. Listen, Will Parker. There is no land in this whole world without tripods. But there is a place where men are free. Waiting for sufficient numbers and power to rid the world of tripods. Can you believe this? Where is this place? We call it the White Mountain. Will you take me there? Well, I've got weeks of work to do yet before I go back to the mountains, but... Yes, I think you should go. Look, listen, Will, I do you no favors. This place is a long way from here. Very few complete the journey. Think carefully. Obstinacy. Good. I've always thought courage overrated. Do you know five ways on the south road? Meet me there tomorrow morning at five o'clock. Dawn's at six. I'll wait until seven. Keep that as a token of trust. Maybe I won't come. Then I'll have lost my watch, wasted my time, and you'll live a life of growing fear and regret until you're capped. I left friends and family too. But remember, they're not your friends, your family. They belong to each and every tripod, as you will surely do if you stay here. Men made these, Will Parker. I'll wait until seven.
knew you were up to something. Keep your voice down. Where are you going? Nowhere. You're going to tell me everything, or I wake Uncle John. I mean it. The mill room, then. Not here. You can't believe what a vagrant says. It wasn't a vagrant. I keep telling you. It was a false cap. I don't know how, but it was. White Mountains. There's no such place. I've told you everything I know. I think there's a lot you haven't told me. Men made this, Henry. Men like you and me. It's man-made, Henry. Henry, listen. I've got to be somewhere. Where? I'm not saying, but it's a good few miles and I haven't got much time. You'll be seen. Henry, please, I've got to go. But why? Because I can't stay here any longer. I'm not going to let them cap me, Henry. I'm not afraid of the cabin itself. I'll well become once it's done. It's wrong, Henry. You've seen Jackson's, haven't you? Go on. I'm old enough to think for myself now. I like that. I want that. There's a lot of things I want to do and find out about. But in 12 months, it'll be too late. All I'll be is a puppet for the tripods. For the rest of my life. Henry, please, I've got to go. All right. But I'm coming too. But you can't. Why not? Too dangerous. You only asked me. Look, I don't much like the idea of being capped either. So there's no reason why I shouldn't come to these loony mountains of yours. But we always fight. We like fighting. Well, there's nothing for me here. All right, we don't see eye to eye. That doesn't matter. You're the only friend I've got. I'd rather be arguing with you all day on our way to these mountains, if they exist. They must do. Did he give you that clock? Sure, he trusted me. You'd better get started then. I'll get some more food. Right.